So, this is a short video on the, my farm fleet of uh, tractors, by the power of the farm, uh, of the model farm, I should say, but just my collection of tractors um, of 132 scale that uh, are fully functional and are, well, they have their, all, their own characters, characteristics, really. So uh, I'm going to go through each one individually and uh, comment down below if you want to see uh, more of these or if you want to see one particular tractor in detail if you really wanted to see if it's very interesting towards you uh, go ahead and, and uh, comment down below which one you want to see um, as you can see there's a pretty uh, very two there's only really two colors in this fleet either red or green um, a big sense. I I am a, I am. The comments are going to go mad. I am. I'm not a huge John Deere fan of tractors. I don't. I'm not a huge fan of John Deere. If I was going to drop buy a tractor in the morning, it wouldn't be a John Deere. But um, they're a very good tractor, and um, they're they're up there in my top ten. I can definitely say that, or even top five. Uh, John Deere, are very good tractors. Uh, even though these four. Green tractors are not all John Deere. Three of them are, and one of them missing. But uh, it's just coincidence. I didn't mean to, it wasn't. This was on, wasn't on purpose. It was just the way it went. Um. So, right, we'll kick off this video. Uh, the first tractor here, this one here, is the oldest. The one I got first is uh on a, it's a six two ten, uh John Deere, four wheel drive with row crop tires, um. I got this tractor um by accident years and years ago. Um that's another story to be told. Uh but what condition you see it in now is what condition I got back in the day. Uh, it was in this condition. No front loader, no uh front bucket or loader uh attachment. And um I'll just detach this plow. It's the only real piece of equipment that really works so well on this tractor by accident right you can see the back here uh, it is very damaged I'll just get this focused and um, you can see one of the arms is chipped off one of them is bent in so it does have the the thing to go up and down and stuff but it, I even tried um fixing this by putting a piece of metal here and here trying to bracket it up but uh no it just never works so it was never really a tractor to work on its three point linkage or well the one thirty two scale linkages anyways. Uh and then it had um has two different uh trailer attachments which was the original one which was just a hoop, which is very rare on tractors these days. Most of them have the just the pick pitch. But uh yeah that's the John Deere six two ten. And I've done a couple of modifications over the years. I've uh, the grill had completely gone, um, and it was just all white from where the sticker was. So what I done was I put some masking tape, and uh, painted in the lights and uh, saved saved the brand, or the number the brand you can see here. Um, you can look at it now. It's, it look it looks more worse than it is. Um, I'll get to focus. As you can see there, uh, it started to peel off and I had to try and glue it in back into place. I know it didn't do a very good job, but there was a big lump or something behind that and I couldn't get it out without damaging the sticker, so I just had to let it be. But overall, it was a great and very, very sturdy tractor. Never once, you know, very, very strong. But um, the only downfall to this tractor, I have to say, is it's it's bare, it's bare uh, we rear wheels. If you look at here, look, if you look at the, the wheels, they look pretty okay, but then look, they look like, uh, like they're just like that, so that's, that's not good, um, but that's the way they were when I got it, it was just whatever plastic to put in the centre wheels, they didn't run well, and I'd worn away over years of play, um, before I got it, and then when I got it, I took care of it, I didn't, do what many other children do. I just kept it in good condition. Played it obviously, yes, but um never um to the extreme measures that it actually damaged anything. So um right, <laughs> next tractor you're probably bored of it. Um 
But uh, so the next tractor on the list will be the fast track. This is a fast my fast track. Um, was it a three one eight five fast track? I've never really been into fast tracks. When the first came out, when I first heard of them, I thought they were very ugly looking machines. Um, thinking you know they were cross between a lorry and a lorry and a tra tractor. And I just didn't think they looked very appealing to me. But in years later, I just thought they were very, very... The unusualness of them have made them much better. Uh, I have it just hooked up to the tanker. Um, it's it's a very good um, machine. It doesn't have any three-point linkage. It only has the, has the humble hitch. And it can only be hooked to a limited amount of uh, trailers as well. Um, another thing is... I've done a lot of customizations on this. The first customization, when I got back into the farming and modeling kind of thing, was actually putting this exhaust on it. As you can see, it really does stick out. It was supposed to be a straight pipe. I seen some earlier ones with this type of exhaust. Uh, the exhaust on this originally, uh, I don't think there was actually an original exhaust. Uh, I didn't break it off. I left it. At a friend's house, and uh, when I came back, I was like, "Where's my JCB and where, where's my fast track?" And then when I found it, he had done a lot of um damage to it. Not that he did it on purpose; it was just he very rough play. Um, the exhaust must have snapped. Uh, I don't know where it would have attached. But originally, the exhaust on these went up the side and out like there. They looked well, but and they were black, but they were very dull, and, they, and I just wanted something different, so I cut out this bar. Painted it silver and uh, glued it in. The glue didn't really work well, but it's very strong. It's good and strong. I'm gonna add lights and a front weight to this to make a bit more detail on it. In fairness, I've uh, highlighted the lights in silver too and the wipers and this front bar. It really looks well, even through the camera. Um, there is was original pieces coming out here where the lights were, but they were they all were snapped off at my friend. So um. So that's the thing when you're bringing, if you're, if you're, I recommend when you're, make sure you know what machines you're bringing to your friend's house and not leaving them there, in fairness. Well, it could be a good friend and uh, he won't, he wouldn't break your machine, but uh, I don't blame him. We were only small at the time, but I wasn't too pleased when I got it back. But I was happy to get it back, I can tell you that. He had, he had the exact same model as this, but much rougher and I knew right away it was mine. So, yeah. So I'm doing all these tractors in chron chronological order. So the next tractor here is a Massey Ferguson. Well, I don't know what Max Massey Ferguson is. You can tell me down in the comments. Uh, it's a very nice Massey Ferguson. And uh, it was left at the same. We swapped tractors for a couple of weeks. And uh, by the time we got it back, it was pretty bad condition. So it was. Uh, it ended up being disassembled for many a year. And it was only recently when I got it back together that I ended up fixing it. It had a front loader, as you can see, the loader brackets. Had to cut the loader off because he damaged the loader that much. The hydraulic rams just were solid on it, just would not move. And uh, eventually snapped and it would look real bad. So I cut them off, as you can see. Not the most best thing to do, but if they were fixable, I would have done something, but they weren't. Um, I put it... I had... he. I'd lost the front grille of it in the years it was disassembled, so I made I recasted one out of glue and repainted it and stuff, then put its front three point linkage on it and a low and a, just a set of chains there just for a bit of detail. Some more in the back of it. Right, uh so the next tractor would be this unusual tractor here. Um it's an off brand uh tractor. I wouldn't know, it's just a metal work, I think it is, uh, that make these tractors. They're very, very sturdy machine, uh, in fairness, and for, for for their prices, uh, they're pretty good too, uh, for what you get, really. Um, I've been doing a bit of modifications to this one, uh, but then I, I was going to put a new hitch on it, off this other machine I had, this spare tractor, but um, I ended up... Uh, Cutting off its hitch, so I'll have to resurrect that. I'll have to put a new hitch on it, obviously. But uh, that's that tractor. It's not really much I can say about it. Um, right. 
So I think I'll leave it here for now. So we've done we've done half the fleet of tractors. So uh, this is going to be part one, and uh, I'll I'll be on to part two now.